Hi beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a lovely day. And today we're gonna do another unfiltered opinions on new makeup releases. I'm gonna talk about some new stuff coming in the makeup world. You guys, it has been so long since I did one of these. Honestly, I was gonna do these one, like one of these about like two weeks ago, but there wasn't much to talk about. And since then we've had some good stuff getting announced, some of it's spooky, and I was like, it's time, let's do another one. So today I'm gonna talk about some new stuff coming out. If we have any differing opinions, anything, if I like something, you hate it, you hate something, I like it. It's just makeup, it's not that serious. So yeah, without all that out of the way, if you wanna check out my small business, The Open Crypt on Etsy, I'll leave that link down below. If not, that's cool too, do you. And let's dive right on into this video. I am just, it feels good. Like I love these videos, it feels good to be back to them. And if there's anything you're excited for coming out, let me know in the comment section, because I'd love to know what you guys are into, like, versus just what I'm into. So let's get started with the first thing. This is from Huda Beauty. But to be honest, the first time I clicked on this on Trend Moods page, um, I thought this was going to be Rimmel London. And I would click on it, like, isn't Rimmel London going out of business? Or at least so it feels. Um, no, this is Huda Beauty just giving Rimmel London packaging. So this is the new Easy Bake and Snatch Pressed Brightening and Setting Powder. Now, I love a setting powder. And I love a brightening setting powder for under the eyes. And these come in tons of different colors, which looks really nice. I do like the different shades. But I don't know. Like, how do we feel about pressed powders? I usually use a loose setting powder. I do like a pressed foundation for a little bit of extra coverage on top of my regular foundation. But let me know. I don't really know if people bake as much as they did maybe like five years ago. Baking was never really my thing, you know, where you put on all the excessive powder and stuff to get the ultimate highlighting. But what do we think? If there comes in eight shades, it's $38 each. Comes out on September 19th. I'm a, I'm a little intrigued by it just because I love powder. But it is kind of expensive and it's giving Bremel London packaging. So, um, Makeup Revolution. It's been a little bit since we talked about them. What is going on? What is going on? So this is their new Bright Light Face Glow. It's just a glowing serum-y thing, you know, like a, a liquid highlighter, essentially. Um, a Lit From Within Skin Multi-Use Glow Boosting Skin Tint. $10, $12, sorry, $12 each. Um, and it comes in five shades. What in the actual hell is this shade range? First of all, let's look at my face. Let's look at this lightest picture. That's not going to work. And then let's look at the deepest shade and let's think about deep skin tones that aren't drastically warm and think, is that ever going to do anything for them? It's not. This is a whole mess. Like, no, absolutely not. Also, that is not deep and that is not, I mean, it might be light, but it's not fair. So unless you're somewhere in the actual middle with a very warm skin tone, I don't think this is going to work for you. Like, this is not, not it. And I know I'm coming off kind of negative so far in the video, but there are things I like that I've seen too. So hold on. Okay, let's do a spooky thing I hadn't seen until just now and I have mixed feelings on. So I love the movie Gremlins, Gremlins 2 and everything. Like it's the perfect Christmas movie to me because it is a Christmas movie, deal with it. I love Gremlins, right? Um, this <laughs> is so weird. Okay, I love the theme, right? I love the theme. This is Mad Beauty, which I, I don't know the quality. I haven't tried their brand before. In collaboration with Warner Brothers for Gremlins Collection. It comes with a cute um, loofah. Really cute gizmo loofah. There's a shower cap. Has like the little ears on it and everything. There's some sheet masks, an eyeshadow palette, a sleeping mask, and some powder. Firstly, I want to say this is a random selection of products. We have shower stuff, skincare stuff, makeup stuff. It's all over the place. I think the loofah is my favorite thing with the gizmo. I think it's really precious. The shower cap with the ears is just fun. The eyeshadow palette, it seems weird that it's just this random eyeshadow palette in here, but I do like the color scheme in it and it's called Dangerously Cute. And he is dangerously cute. He makes his little baby noises and I'm just like, oh, gizmo, you know? Um, the problem I have here is the setting powder has this really furry poof in it. I just think, I don't know, something about it feels unsanitary, even though a poof is unsanitary in the first place. It's just very furry puff. And then I don't like the sheet masks that look like the character's face. And this one looks like his whole body, basically, besides the feet. Something about this face mask that look like a different face on top of yours is nightmare fuel. So that's what I'm thinking. There's also a lip balm in this collection I don't see in the picture. 
Um, the prices are a little bit very specific. Shower cap is $12.34. Cotton candy lip balm, $6.85. Body puff, $6.85. Sleep mask, $12.34. Eyeshadow palette, $23.32. Sheet mask, $6.85. Wouldn't it be like something 99 or something 50 or like or just six dollars the, the, the very specific number on these prices here it's available now if you want it it's just kind of a weird collection but i kind of just really like the loofah i think next up is from house laboratories which is lady gaga's makeup line i tell you at first when this brand launched it was a whole wreck and it did not seem anything lady gaga and it was like why was it a thing oh kitty cat tail but as the things, like there was a rebrand recently, after that, oh wait, let's say hi to Edgar. After that, I feel like it got better. <gasps> Look at his thumbs! Hi, honey. <laughs> he likes to sit with me. Um, but ever since there was like a rebrand, it feels refreshed. It feels like a more in-focus brand now. So this is their new Triclone Skin Tech Hide, I don't know why it says tech, Hydrating Concealer. Triclone Skin Tech Hydrating Concealer. It's weird. Um, it's, it's a long wearing, hydrating, clean concealer with 20 plus skincare ingredients that covers, blurs lines, and brightens with medium buildable coverage that can visibly depuff under eyes after two weeks of use in 31 shades across six familiar families and four undertones, $32 each. Thank you for having different undertones. And four different undertones, love the different undertones. And honestly, looking at the shade range for this, it's fantastic. The shade range looks really nice. Um, and I do like that I see some like olive undertones in here too because I feel like neutral and olive undertones are often neglected. You usually see warm or cool. Um, so I like to see the different sh uh, shades in here. I think this, the shade range itself is really nice. I do like a medium coverage. Most days I just go full coverage because I feel like a mess. Um, so for me, maybe I would reach for it. Maybe I wouldn't. But it looks really pretty. Like the before and after pictures look really nice. It looks like... Even though it's not full coverage, your under eyes do look brightened with it under your eye because it is um, a hydrating concealer. And the fact that it has skincare ingredients that can, you know, blur lines and depuff your eyes after a long time is great. If you have puffy eyes though, some of us have sunken in holes instead of the puffiness. Um, but I do like that it addresses skincare concerns. So I would be interested in this. I'm not exactly sure where you get House Labs anymore. It used to be Amazon. It was an Amazon exclusive when it launched. Now I think it's a Sephora. $32 is an expensive concealer. It's an expensive concealer. But if you have those skincare problems that you want to address and you want to wear makeup, I feel like this is a good way to do it. If it works. Because I don't know if it works. Okay, 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 okay. So full disclosure, I have not seen the new Haunted Mansion movie yet, okay? I have been telling myself that I'm keeping Disney Plus just so I can see the new uh, Haunted Mansion movie. I didn't want to go in theaters. Because it was during the time the Barbie movie went out and that's like a whole thing and it was going to be really busy. And I was like, you know what? I have Disney Plus. It's going to go on Disney Plus eventually. I'm going to just watch it up there. When it goes up there, I will. And then after that, I'm canceling Disney Plus because I never use it. So I haven't seen the new movie yet. And I, I really do enjoy the, uh, the Eddie, Mur Eddie Murphy Haunted Mansion movie. My husband and I watch it every Halloween or like the week of Halloween. Um, I like it. I know it's cheesy. I know it's not the most well done movie in the world, but... We have fun with it, and I love the crypt scene and everything, so I like the theme. And I would, I literally want to go to Disney one time to ride the Haunted Mansion ride. So, <laughs> I, I'm, 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 cool, I'm cool with this theme. It's really entice, it's enticing to me. But, this is the new ColourPop collection. Clearly, I told you the theme already. We don't want to spiel about it. This looks so cute. Like, I don't... I wanted to like it in the first place because of the theme, right? But looking at the colors, like I really like it. It's so freaking pretty. So like ColourPop does, there is a lot of browns in the eyeshadow palette, which is kind of the star of the collection, of course. There is some browns and neutrals in here, which makes it everyday friendly, but they have a pop of blue, which is fine, but they have some really pretty purple shades in here and like some really dusty looking purple shades in here mixed in with the darker browns and everything that looks so nice. Again, I'm tired of everything having a pop of blue in here, but for the ride at Disney and for everything, like you need the pop of blue in here, I feel like. It matches the packaging really well. It says, welcome foolish mortals on the, mortals on the front. The whole collection is really well done and pretty. There's a hat box ghost looking lip gloss. Um, there's some hitchhiking ghost lip gloss. There's some super shock shadows. There's one of those 
glittery obsessed body glitters with Madame Leota on it. Like it is giving everything. And I love these little promo pictures with the baby candelabras in the picture. So cute. And then this one glows in the dark. The glittery obsessed thing glows in the dark. It looks like Madame Leota on the box. Like it's, it's so well done. It's so beautiful. I really like it. Something about the super shock that's the blue um, color is really pretty as well. I love it. I just love it. If you got this one, let me know what you think because I'm thinking about purchasing it just to review, even though it will be a little bit late compared to like everyone else who got it and reviewed it already, I guess. I don't know. New from Anastasia. It's been a while since we talked about the girl Anastasia Beverly Hills, but looks like they're coming back strong with this release. So this is their new holiday 2023 eyeshadow palette. Is it too early for that? Yes, but it's fine. <laughs> it's really pretty. It looks like an all year palette. You can call it your holiday one, but it looks like all year for me. This is the fall romance palette. Okay, so it's fall. It's not just, it says holiday, but it's like fall, fall is not a holiday. It's a season, but um, fall romance eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This looks so pretty. So it says a mix of different shades featuring 12 seductive jewel tone metallics, rich neutral eyeshadows from subtle to dramatic looks. It describes the shades. There's a two duo chromes in here in the shimmers and the rest of the shimmers look like regulars and some mattes. I will say this looks stunning. There are two pretty green shades in here that would pair really well with those golds. We have some neutrals. We have two purple shades, a matte and a shimmer. So it does a really good pairing in there as well. It looks beautiful. I will say swatch out when I see the swatch of the purple shimmer. Um, it looks not as fabulous as i would expect personally it looks a little pink but it is really pretty i like the berry tones and um i like this format of palette i like the long gated easy to stack with each other kind of palettes so this one is enticing to me it doesn't say the price on this listing but i'm pretty sure it's gonna be 45 like the rest of their palettes it's beautiful i mean it, it's it's really beautiful it's not anything like oh my god i need this in my life but she's cute Okay, I know this got announced in August, and I know it's a little bit of old news, but like, <laughs> I need this collection so badly. At least the mirror. There's a mirror in this collection that like, I want more than anything else. So this is a new Pro Fusion collection. It is Casper themed. It is apparently a Walgreens exclusive, it seems like. It's not on Pro Fusion's website. Trust me, I keep checking. But this is a Pro Fusion collection with Casper the Friendly Ghost. That is so, oh my God, it's so good. So it's limited edition glow in the dark packaging, includes a Casper mirror, which I need in my heart and soul. It's like I need it for everything. I would use it every single day of my life. Um, a Casper holographic makeup bag, an eye and face brush set, two highlighters, a glow in the dark makeup sponge duo, illuminating face primer and setting spray. Honestly, the setting spray and the highlighters and everything, really cute, right? But the freaking, yeah. the brushes that look like, Look like a witch's broom. It's all crooked and cute. Oh my god. The sponges are really cute, but when you think about putting foundation on it, they're gonna get ruined. But the mirror. The mirror. The mirror. Like, I don't even see prices here. I don't care what it costs. If it's like, oh, this little, it's a little hand mirror. It's $20. It's coming home with me. I don't care. I need this mirror. This is so cute. Let me know your favorite Casper movie. Is the original? Or is it Casper Meets Wendy? Or is it the cartoon? Because Casper Meets Wendy is my favorite. I've probably seen that movie a hundred times or more, like with Hilary Duff. It's my absolute favorite. I tried to find this movie on DVD for the longest time. You can't find it on DVD. You can find a VHS of it. Um, and it's also available on YouTube. The quality is kind of trash, but you can find it on YouTube. But as far as like streaming services, you cannot find Casper Meets Wendy. It's like it never existed. And I, reg I, I resent that because it's a fantastic movie. It's absolutely fantastic. And who doesn't love Hilary Duff and Casper the Friendly Ghost? Like it's perfect in every way. Love that movie. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, the collection's cute. Like I said, I like the highlighters. I like the setting sprays. The bag's fine. The sponges are fine. The brushes are cute. And the mirror is just everything. So this is perfect. I'm glad it's not just like your standard, here's some sponges, brushes, and a random eyeshadow palette. For me, this is like a really cute collection and practical for everyday use. So I'm into it. I'm really into it. Too bad I don't have a good Walgreens around here. If I did, I would have this already. Um, I'll just have to go to a different side of town or like a, if I go out of town, I'll have to look at their Walgreens and just check. Just keep, keep an eye out. 
It's not on Walgreens' website. It's not on DoorDash if you want a DoorDash from a Walgreens. And it's not on Profusion's website. So maybe it'll come out later, but it's not out right now on those things. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. Again, let me know your favorite thing. Like, is there anything like you saw in this video that you really want? Is there anything I didn't talk about today that you really want coming out? Let me know. Let me know all the things. Because to me, I need the Casper mirror. The rest of the collection I could pass on, but I need the mirror. And then I love the Haunted Mansion palette. Like, it's just really cute. You know, if it goes on Ulta's website, um, I might just order it with a couple other things and get the three over $35 shipping. We'll see. Um, and if you guys want a review of that one, let me know too. That might help my choice on whether I need it or not. Because I know I won't use the pop of blue in there. But the rest of the palette does look really nice as well. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you later. Have a beautiful and safe day wherever you are. And let's hope for fall weather soon. Okay, bye guys.